Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Body Pal Picking. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that sold this week and the fastest item I've ever sold. I do have a habit of picking up Keen sandals when they're in great condition. These leather ones took a little bit longer than I wanted to to sell and I had to take a best offer in order to get them gone. I paid $8 and I listed them for $30, but they sold on a best offer today of $24.50 plus shipping. I don't get to find many video games these days, but I came across a couple of Nintendo Wii video games a few weeks ago, and this was one of them. I paid $4 for this Donkey Kong uh, Barrel Blast for the Nintendo Wii, complete with disc and manual inside. It's not as good as I originally thought it would be, but I still got $14 plus shipping out of this. Good news is, it's going internationally to Peru. They paid upwards of 30 bucks to get this game. As always, golf brands are a really good pickup, and this Callaway hat right here I picked up for myself a few weeks ago for just $5. As it turns out, over time, it just tends to give me a bit of a headache, so I listed it, and it sold for $16.95 free shipping. Next up is a pair of Merrill Trail Running Shoes. I think these are called Trail Blaze, no, Trail Glove. Merrill Trail Glove Shoes. They're kind of like a barefoot running shoe very thin sole type running shoe and i picked these up at peaches to beaches yard sales for just five dollars what i failed to realize is this is like version one of like six different versions so, but they still sold pretty good i paid five they sold for best offer on poshmark for 32 dollars, and i accepted it because once i realized that i had bought the one version and not like the sixth version which i kind of thought i was going at um, I knew that would sell for like 40, 45 bucks. I still accepted 32. Not bad for a first generation running shoe when there's six different generations. Printers are usually not something you'll see me pay full price at the thrift store, but when my Goodwill started having dollar day, I started really, really looking into these printers. Printers aren't always easy to test. In fact, the best way to do it is just make sure that there's no errors on the screen, that it feeds the paper well, that it doesn't have a paper jam or anything like that. You can't guarantee that the ink is gonna work, so put that in the description. And I say that because it'd be way too expensive to go to Walmart and pick up the right proper ink for every single printer you have to sell. Since I only paid a dollar, I had nothing to lose, right? Maybe, okay, so just a dollar. But this printer, I brought home and tested it and it prints just fine. It needs ink, but it prints just fine. And I sold it today for $38.95 plus shipping. All right, I've sold another DVD VCR combo unit and I love reselling these combo units. They are not that hard to ship like some people would think. It's very, very easy. And I've got boxes that I use and packing material that I use down in the description below, affiliate links if you want some. I just wrapped this up in some of the medium sized bubble wraps from American Bubble Boy three times and put it in a 20 by 15 by six box that I get on Amazon. I picked this Hitachi DVD VCR combo up for $10 at Goodwill several weeks ago, but I listed it uh, two weeks ago. I'm not sure why they wanted just $3 off. I listed it for $38 on Mercari. I sold it on Mercari for a best offer of $35 plus shipping. Baseball is back in season. If you got the equipment to list, do so now. This is an Axe Handle Baseball Bat, model number MX8. The difference is it has a very unique axe handled grip. Apparently it helps keep the uh, bat in one specific uh, position so that when you go to hit, it doesn't slip and it holds much better. I don't know, I play baseball, but we didn't have these back when I was growing up. I picked this up at Goodwill for just $2 last year at baseball season and it never sold. I must have been asking way too much, but it sold it on a best offer on Mercari for $50 plus shipping. 
Gun brands usually do sell pretty quick and easy. And I picked up this Remington hat for just a dollar at a yard sale, maybe over two years ago. And I expected it to go way faster than this, but it finally sold for $14.95 free shipping. I honestly think it's all due to the fact that it's a little dirty and I never took the time to wash it. If you want to wash hats, the easiest way I found to wash them is just to put them in the dishwasher and let that do its job. I'm not sure if I'm glutton for punishment or not, but when I see Vineyard Vines, I just, I just gotta pick it up if it's regular price because I feel like it's gonna sell no matter what, right? It, these Vineyard Vine shorts I picked up for $4.50 and they've, they're khaki, men's khaki shorts, and they've got little whale logos embroidered across the entire pants. There's the regular whale and then there's the American flag whale. But again, I paid $4.50 and I sold these on a best offer on eBay of $16 plus shipping. What I was referring to earlier is it's not selling nearly as good as it used to, but for some reason, I just can't leave it behind. I've got a few different pair of Vapor Max tennis shoes listed and they're not moving very quickly. So I was hesitant to pick these up at the Peaches to Beaches yard sales, but I did anyway, because they're in great shape. Condition-wise, the bubbles aren't pop, the tread's good, and they look clean. I paid $15 at a yard sale and they sold within 24 hours for full asking price of $59.95 plus shipping. On Cloud Shoes is another brand I pick up no matter what the shape is in if the price is right. These I happen to find for $5 in Fort Valley, Georgia on my way to the Peaches to Beaches yard sales. And they are still in great condition. I'm very surprised I found them for just $5. So on clouds to me are like hokas. You see them, turn them over, look at the tread. If they're less than 10 bucks, someone's still gonna buy them for 20 to 30 bucks, no matter what. They're a women's size seven, and I listed them on all platforms for 50 bucks and they sold on Mercari for $50 plus shipping within 24 hours. All right, this bad man pajama right here makes me super duper proud. This is the sale of the entire video, the number one fastest sale I've ever had. I paid $13 at Goodwill last Friday for this DVD VCR combo unit. It's Magnavox model, and write this down, model DV220MW9. This model is super hot. I picked it up for $13. Comp showed somewhere around the $75 if it was just by itself. I have remote controls in a bin down in the bottom shelf over there and I pick up just random $1 remotes. And same thing with blank uh, VHS tapes. Same thing with these AC cables. I mean, I like to make these bundles. And because of that bundle, this sold for $94.95 plus shipping in less than 10 minutes. I literally took the pictures, went inside, sat on the couch with my laptop, getting ready to list some things on eBay. I listed one item, this item. Then I got distracted. And before I could get up off that couch to whatever distracted me, it cha-chinged and it sold. Lightning fast. Woo-hoo!